What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, sure, let's get into some NBA player props for Friday, March 31st slate of games. If you guys enjoyed these videos, be sure to drop a like down below and hit that subscribe button as well. You can also become a member for just $4.99 a month over at BearsProfitPlays.com. You can sign up today and get our best plays and props nightly, so go check that out. Trey, let's take a look at the honeypot real quick. You guys are trying to pick five straight correct picks on player props nightly for a chance to win $25 and a one-year membership to our website, bearsproperplays.com. We are on day number three. We need Jamal Murray over 22 and a half points tonight. He is just tipped off. He's into the second quarter. Day four, hopefully, will be up for you guys to vote on tomorrow. Go vote for that in the community tab on our YouTube page. All right, Trey, let's take a look at our picks from last night. Start us off. Yeah, I gave out CJ McCollum over two and a half threes versus the Nuggets. And I'd be lucky if he even makes two and a half shots in this game. Like Bear said, he is playing and the game just got into halftime and he has a total of three or four shot attempts. And I think he only has two points. So I am up against it right now. I am not in a good mental headspace, but I love my picks for today. So just stay tuned for those. Yeah, I gave out Jason Tatum over 28 and a half points, and the Celtics dominated the Bucs in this game, scoring 140. Tatum had 40 points in 30 minutes. He went off with Brown in this game. Uh, so CJ is for the sweep tonight. I believe in him, Trey. But let's look at our plays for tonight. Start us off. Yes, I love this play especially. I'm going to go with Benedict Matherin over 24 and a half PRs versus the Thunder. Matherin came into the league projected to be a volume scorer. And with the Pacers finally going into full tank mode, he is getting that opportunity. They have benched Halliburton and Turner over their last few games, and it has paid dividends for Matherin. Over his last two games, he's averaging 39 and a half minutes per game, and he's using them very wisely. He's averaging 27 and a half and six and a half rebounds per game. That comes out to 34, well above this number. And he's getting a plus matchup versus the Thunder, who are not very good defensively. They allow the 10th most points per game with 116.4. They allow the most rebounds per game with over 46 per game. And they allow the fourth most made three-pointers per game with over 13. So give me Matherin here to continue to stay hot against this Thunder team. I mean, we saw this Thunder team give up 43 points to P.J. Washington just a few days ago. So I think Matherin could easily get to this 25 PR number. I really love this play, so just lock it in, guys. Yeah, Trey, I like it for my first play and the best play of the night. I will go with Trey Young under 25 and a half points. I know a lot of people in the chat in our community like to fade Trey Young. Trey Young hasn't been scoring like he usually does in the last three games, and he's only taking an average of 12 and a half shots per game in the last three games as well. I'm also taking Trey Young's under tonight because he does not care about your guys' parlays. If you guys follow the NBA on Twitter or any per betting person on Twitter or don't live under a rock, Trey Young missed a free throw in his last game with basically no time left against the Cavaliers to not cover the spread of minus two and a half. They won the game by two, and somebody tagged Trey Young saying, you lost my parlay on those free throws, and Trey responded with, F your parlay. I don't blame Trey Young for the response because I feel like I would respond the same way, but as a gambler, you fade a person that does that. You have no other choice. So if we add that interaction in his last game to the way he's been performing on the court over the last three games, averaging just 19 points over the last three games, I'm going to take his under 25 and a half tonight. The Nets have been very solid on defense in their last five games, surrendering just 112 points per game on average. So I will fade Trey Young tonight and go under 25 and a half points. Trey? Yeah, and I'm going with my second favorite play of the night. And this line is honestly pretty laughable because it's so low. I'm going with Pascal Siakam over 34 and a half PRAs. It just doesn't make any sense why this line is so low, but regardless, we just got to take advantage of it. Over his last five games overall, he's been right above his average, averaging 24.2 points, 9.4 rebounds, and six assists. That comes out to 39.6 PRAs, well above this number. And Siakam's getting a pretty decent matchup against the 76ers, too. He's going to be seeing a ton of Tobias Harris in this game, and I love that. Tobias Harris is just not as good on the defensive end as he used to be. He's getting up there in age. His defensive rating is 113.4 this season. And Siakam has been very good against the 76ers historically. Over his last five games against Philadelphia, 
He's averaging 26.2 points, 9.4 rebounds, and 7.8 assists. That comes out to 43.4 PRAs, almost 10 above this number. Like I said, this line just does not make very much sense at all. 76ers defense is not that very good outside of Joel Embiid and P.J. Tucker. But I don't think that either one of them are going to be seeing a lot of Pascal Siakam in this game. So lock in this play of, of Pascal Siakam over 34 and a half PRAs against the 76ers. Love it. Love that play. For my second play, Trey, I'm going with Malik Monk over 12 and a half points against the Portland Trailblazers. The Sacramento Kings locked up a playoff spot in their last game against Portland, blowing them out as the starters did not play in the fourth quarter. We have the exact same matchup tonight as the Kings are projected to win by 15 points against Portland's bench. In that game, Malik Monk was projected to score 12 points, and he scored 19 in 21 minutes. I think that the Kings might be resting multiple players in this game, and Monk will get even more time on the court playing Portland's bench. Even if the Kings don't rest their players, Trey, this should be a blowout again as they won by 40 last time. I'm going to take a chance on Monk here getting a juicy line at 12 and a half. And if the Kings do decide to sit multiple people, this number could jump up to 18 and a half or even higher. Like I said, though, if the Kings do play their starters, I still think Monk will get 12 and a half points. But grabbing this line at 12 and a half and then the Kings sitting their starters would be even more sweet. Malik Monk, in the games he has played more than 20 minutes, he has scored 14 plus points in eight of his last 10 games played. He should get 20 plus minutes tonight. So take his over points. All right, guys, that'll do it for our NBA player props for Friday, March 31st slate of games. If you guys enjoy the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We see you guys next video and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.